One of the primary benefits of holding ADA is that users can earn passive income as an incentive for supporting the decentralization of the network. In this lesson, we'll go over how to begin staking your crypto by delegating ADA to a stake pool. We'll also cover different sites that will help you along your staking journey. So getting started with this lesson today, we're taking a look at the computer and we've got the Eternal Wallet pulled up. We've got our Cardano 101 wallet loaded up with some ADA to go ahead and get started. Now, as far as being able to delegate to a stake pool, let's first talk about why would you want to stake? The biggest and most important reason to stake your ADA is because it helps to support the decentralization of the Cardano network. The more ADA that is delegated to stake pools, the stronger the network becomes. And as an incentive for staking your ADA and supporting the network, you're also able to earn passive income for delegating to a stake pool. So it's a win-win in that regard. You're able to support the ecosystem as well as earn passive income. Now, as far as being able to choose a stake pool to delegate to, the best way to be able to do so using the Eternal Wallet is to go to our staking center. So what we're gonna do is click on that. And then from here, we can see a list of all the stake pools which are currently available to delegate to. Right now, I believe there's close to about 3000 stake pools that are currently active in producing blocks. So there's quite a few different options to choose from. Now, why would you wanna choose one over the other? So there's a couple reasons. Maybe let's say you are somebody who uh, likes to support somebody in the community, somebody like myself who provides content and educational material, and you wanna support what we're doing. So you could support us by delegating to our stake pool. Let's say there's a developer in the ecosystem who's built a really cool application who you'd like to continue support. Great way to support them if they have a stake pool would be to delegate to them. So there's many different reasons why you would wanna delegate to somebody Big thing is that you're able to support them by staking your ADA and also earn something in return. Now, as far as what we're looking at here, we can see a few of these different options. Essentially, we've got the stake pool name, we've got the saturation point, pledge, fees, and then the return on stake. The return on stake for a lot of these stake pools is gonna be more or less the same as we can see. Currently, it's about three and a half percent or just slightly above it. So in terms of being able to delegate your ADA to a pool, you're gonna be earning on average the same depending on which pool you decide to go with. Uh, in the instance you see something like this, it could be potentially that there's incomplete data, maybe it's a new stake pool. We can see that this stake pool only has 88,000 in terms of the delegation. The saturation point shows you how much ADA is currently delegated to the pool. The return on stake is possibly that high because it hasn't really produced that many blocks and it's still a relatively new pool. So that's something to keep in mind. Typically you'll find pools that have a longstanding track record are gonna average out their returns over time. It started at about 5% at the launch of Shelly Mainnet and gradually going down over time as more delegators come into the ecosystem. Approximately 3.7, 3.5% is what you can expect right now. Now in terms of fees, what we have here, we're gonna discuss this in a future lesson as well in more depth, but I just wanted to show you what we're looking at in terms of the user interface for Eternal. The fees here for the pool shows, in this case, this specific pool is charging a 1% fee in addition to the fixed fee of 340 ADA. And then that margin is the percentage cost. So you'll see it vary amongst different stake pools. Pledge is going to be the parameter which indicates the amount of ADA which the pool operator has delegated to their own pool. Think of it as their skin in the game, so to speak. So that's how you know how committed they are to the successful operation of their stake pool. So now that we've got a better understanding of what we're looking at when we click on staking, let's go ahead and search for our Kaizen stake pools. Of course, to support us in the creation of this content, we've got several stake pools which you can delegate your ADA to. Each one of them is producing blocks and we've been running since the incentivized testnet on Cardano. It's really been a great experience to support the Cardano ecosystem as well as provide passive returns for our delegators. So I would highly recommend you check out our stake pools and would greatly appreciate any support if you do decide to delegate. But essentially what you can do, if you'd wanted to go ahead and support us, go ahead and search for Kaizen, K-A-I-Z-E-N, and you'll see a list of the different pools which we operate. All these pools are operated by yours truly, and essentially the rewards are used to go towards the projects which we're building to support and grow the Cardano ecosystem, as well as our Krishna pool, a portion of my stake pool operator rewards are being used to donate to charities. So definitely be sure to check us out. Those are some of the ways that you can support us. Delegating to our stake pool is probably one of the best ways to help us grow and continue this production of content. 
So in this case, what we'll do, let's go ahead and delegate to Kaizen Stake Pool. And you can choose any one of these, Kaizen, Krishna, Kronos, Kobe. They're all doing well, they're all minting blocks. Let's go ahead and delegate to Kaizen for the stake of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on delegate. And we can see here what this does is it prompts us to sign a transaction to delegate our ADA. In order to do that, we'll go ahead and confirm by typing in our spending password. After we typed in our spending password, we can go ahead and click on sign. And what this is going to do is prompt us with a breakdown of the transaction. So we can see now that the transaction is pending. It's gonna show a deposit of two ADA. The two ADA is going to be needed to register a staking key on the Cardano blockchain. This is a one-time fee which you'll pay whenever you first delegate to a stake pool. So that's something to keep in mind. You'll pay that two ADA fee in addition to the network transaction fee of about 0.17 ADA. So everything looks correct here. This transaction is now pending. Let's go ahead and head over to history and we should see that transaction pop up here in just a moment as soon as it's validated by the blockchain. So it took just a moment for the transaction to be validated, but now we can see in our list of transaction history, we've got this eternal transfer deposit, which is the 2.17 ADA. So the two ADA being used to generate a staking certificate for this wallet, as well as the network transaction fee of 0.17 ADA. So that looks perfect. Now, if we head over to staking, we'll be able to see the pool, which we're delegated to. So we are now delegated to Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. So our wallet is now delegated to a pool. Something very important to keep in mind is that when you first delegate to a pool, it takes two epochs or two five-day periods on the Cardano network for your stake to become active. After the third epoch, you will earn your first reward. So essentially it's like a waiting period to make sure that your delegation becomes active. After that stake has completed a full epoch by being active stake in a pool, then you'll earn those first rewards. So it's just something to keep in mind. I know a lot of people will typically delegate to a pool and wonder why they haven't received any rewards after the turn of the epoch. The reason is because the stake hasn't become active yet. So if you're first delegating to a pool, make sure that you're waiting that two epoch period. And then on the third, you should see those first rewards pop up. Now, let's say for instance, you've already gone through the process of delegating to a pool. It's been those two epochs and you've been earning rewards consistently every five days. In that instance, let's say if you decided to change your delegation, you wouldn't need to necessarily pay another two ADA fee because that staking cert has already been generated. It's simply just the 0.17 ADA transaction fee. And in terms of the rewards which you will be paid, the two epochs will still continue to earn rewards from the previous pool. But then after that two epochs, you'll be earning rewards from that new ADA delegation. So I hope that clarifies it and helps to break it down just a little bit further. As we're talking about delegating to a pool, one of the really unique features about the Eternal Wallet is that if you have a wallet, you can actually break it up into multiple accounts. So it's one of the key reasons why you would want to have multiple accounts using the Eternal Wallet. What we can do is go ahead and click on account. We can go ahead and click on account list from there. And what we can do is click on add accounts. What this would allow us to do is essentially break up the wallet into different sections. So let's say for instance, I wanted to delegate to another stake pool. Let's say there's somebody in the community who I really enjoy that produces YouTube videos. And there's also somebody who's building a really cool application on Cardano. And I wanna support both of these people. You can do so with just one wallet. So that's gonna be the reason for creating an additional account. In the instance that you were to add an account, let's go ahead and go through that process. Let's go ahead and sign by typing in the spending password. So once we go ahead and click on sign, this is gonna generate a transaction to increase the number of accounts. And we can see here now we have account number zero and account number one. So there's two different accounts which we'll be able to use within the wallet. In the instance that we wanted to, let's say, send some ADA from account zero to account one, I'll show you how to do that here. What we'll do is we'll go to count list, we'll go to activate, and then we can see if we go to transactions, this shows us this is a clean account. There's no pending transactions or previous history in this account. Let's go ahead and click on receive. We're gonna copy this public address for the second account. We'll go back to the accounts, account list, click on activate, click on send, paste in that public address for the newly account which we just created. Let's go ahead and send two ADA over to that 
new account, which we just created, simply just to show you the process. We're gonna go ahead and type in our spending password. After we go ahead and click on sign, we can see that this transaction is now pending. So we'll go back to history and we should see that transaction pop up here in just a moment. Now, if I wanted to toggle back to that new account to see that ADA, which we just sent over, what we'll do is the same process. We'll go ahead and click on account, account list. We'll go ahead and activate that newly created account, go to transactions, and it should take just a moment for us to see that transaction, which we just sent from the previous account to this new account. While we're waiting for that to take place, another really cool feature that I wanted to show you with the Eternal Wallet is that you can actually buy ADA directly from the wallet. Essentially, we'll click on buy ADA and this is gonna redirect you to a separate portal. They use Guardarian.com, which is going to allow you to swap fiat for ADA, basically. So what you would do is select the amount which you'd like to buy. Depending on your currency, you can use the dropdown to select whichever currency you prefer. You can select the amount of ADA. In that instance, if you click on buy, you can pay for it either via a Visa or MasterCard, or you can even do a bank transfer via Swift. So it's just another really cool feature of the Eternal Wallet uh, to be able to purchase ADA directly from the platform itself. So just wanted to show you that very briefly. Let's go ahead and head back to our Eternal Wallet. Let's go to transactions and let's see if that transaction has popped up in our account. And there we go. So that transaction has just popped up and we can see here that plus two ADA has now shown up in that newly created account. And then from here, let's say if you have some ADA which you'd like to delegate, you can go to staking and simply follow the same process as we did before. One of the really cool features about Eternal allowing you to delegate to multiple pools from a single wallet. And the last part of this video that I wanted to show you all is some helpful websites to help you along with your staking journey. So very briefly, two of the top websites that I recommend and two that I personally use on a daily basis is gonna be adapools.org as well as pooltool.io. Both websites are great for being able to keep track of different statistics as it relates to the Cardano blockchain. In this case, adapools is a Cardano Explorer shows us the uh, stats for the Cardano blockchain as far as the epoch, the time, the number of ADA delegated, the pools which are currently active, total supply, circulating supply, lots of really cool stuff. Uh, you've got the list of different stake pools which are available to delegate to. If you wanted to learn more about any specific pool, you can simply search for it. In this case, I'll type in Kaizen. We can just select the stake pool which we have here. You can see we've got a few different metrics related to the pool. As we can see, the pool has been minting blocks consistently for the past couple years. So really great to see that. A big thank you as well to all of our delegators who are continuing to support us. Uh, it really does mean the world to us. So thank you so much for that. And of course, if you do enjoy this content, great way to support us is by delegating to either Kaizen, Krishna, Kronos, or Kobe Stake Pool. So be sure to check out adapools.org. They've actually also rebranded to a really cool explorer called the C Explorer, so cardanoexplorer.io. And you've got a lot more information as it comes to the different Cardano assets, you know, it's like certain tokens. Uh, you've got more interesting metrics related to the Cardano blockchain. So a lot of cool stuff that they're doing with that. Uh, and then lastly, let's take a look at pooltool.io, another community created website uh, big shout out to the team at pooltool.io. Um, this is going to allow you to see also some more interesting statistics related to the Cardano blockchain. You can also track your rewards. If you click on rewards data for taxes, enter in your wallet public address, click on search. If you have a staking key registered with your wallet, so essentially if you've delegated that wallet to a pool, you'll be able to see all of your staking history and even export that file as a CSV, something very helpful for creating the documentation needed when you go to pay your taxes. Let's go ahead and click on Pool Explorer. We can do something very similar here and just search for the uh, pool which we'd like to delegate to. Really cool to see our pools are minting blocks consistently each epoch. So definitely be sure to check us out. You've got some information in terms of the fee, the epoch fee, the number of blocks, live stake, 
two month return on stake, lifetime blocks, just lots of different information. You can see the recent blocks which are currently minted on the Cardano blockchain. So this is all in real time, folks. A really cool tool, especially if you are an aspiring stake pool operator or maybe you're already an SPO using pool tool. Uh, this is a great, great website. Uh, this shows you the protocol version of the node as well, whichever nodes are reporting to pool tool. Um, shows you where the relays are currently held within the different data centers that we have available. Um, just lots of cool stuff. So would recommend you check out pooltool.io. Again, another great tool to help you along your staking journey. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Another great way to help support us with the creation of this content is again to delegate to any Kaizen stake pool. We covet your support and we greatly appreciate your consideration. Join us for our next episode of the Cardano 101 course, where we'll look into the different parameters for stake pools and how to choose one that's right for you. I'll see you there.